This video will show you how to define your materials in CADAM 3D. Once you have defined your section, like for instance in this case a gravity dam section, you now have access to the material button. I'll click on it and now ha have a new window showing a list of material and the general parameters. For the general parameters you have the gravitational acceleration constant, the concrete volumetric mass that is defined here, and the water volumetric mass. If I select here in the list of material, the first one which has been automatically created by CADAM 3D and is called base, this material corresponds to the failure plane defined from the foundation profile. So I'll select it and I'll edit it. You cannot change you cannot change the name of that material. However, you can set up its compressive strength and its tensile strength. This material corresponds to the rock foundation structure profile. There are two types of shear resistance within CADAM 3D. You have the peak shear resistance and the residual shear resistance. Uh, and these shear resistance are based on Mach Coulomb behavior. There are three types of uh, Mach Coulomb that you can use, option one, two, and three. The first two is only providing shear resistance when you have compressive stress, while the option three is considering shear resistance even if you have tensile stresses and you don't have crack or in the tensile domain. So I'll use option two for now and I'll use a cohesion of 100 kPa and a friction angle of 55 degree <coughs> and minimal compressive stress of zero. So if you keep the sigma in at zero, option one and option two will give you the same results. And for the shear residual shear resistance, I'll leave it as it is. Now I have set up my base. If I want to have more uh, failure plane analysis within the structure itself, I can set up a new material. And I have to do that by clicking Add. I'll call that Lift Joint Material. I can put my tensile resistance and it's the same dialog window as it was previously. As you can see now, if I select option three, sigma n is not mandatory anymore, so it disappears. And I'm done. Now I have two materials, one for the lift joint and one for the base. If I select lift joints, I can remove it or delete it if you prefer, or I can edit it. That ends that video.